Hi, my name's Keith and I'm known as the Florida Stone Man and today I'm going to be teaching you all about people you should be aware of. And this video is a very important one because this seems to scare people in the spiritual community. You want to know what it is? It's when you protect yourself. A lot of people teach bogus protections. They'll teach bogus protections. They'll teach every single thing. And I'm not just talking about TikTok, YouTube, Instagram. I'm talking about overall. Now, I'm going to tell you something very important right now. A lot of spiritual leaders, a lot of people spiritually will teach you fake protections because you can't get protected from them fully if they don't if they don't teach everything. So they rely on people to be, you know what, if you're a person of God, I'm going to say right now, they rely on people who are looking for help to be weak. And sometimes people can be kind of weak because they're just in certain situations, they need help, etc. But... When you're a person of God, you will always find your protections. You will always find that level of protection that whatever, whoever is trying to hide from you without you even knowing. It's extremely important to know this. This is very, very important. So I'm going to teach you some very powerful spiritual protections. And I'm going to teach you something that you actually have to do become aware of. When you practice spiritual protections, people consider this for being dark. Because I've taught some very strong ways to protect yourself. And people have been getting upset. People are like, you can't protect yourself that way. Just let people attack you spiritually and tra transmute that energy. I'm like, okay, you're going to transmute it for your entire family? You obviously, I mean, it's all fun and games until you're stuck. So I teach people how to not ever get stuck like that. To not, I mean, once you're hit and you don't get it off of you, everyone's stuck. And there's no light in that because people who get hit by black magic over and over and over and over and over again go to a very dark place and they actually become dark themselves if they don't get the help they need most importantly give the glory to the most high god ask god for help and he'll start directing you to places and people that will help you actually if you're someone of darkness and people and this is like the most disturbing thing because i've seen people like a whole a whole bee got into my car <laughs> that's jehudiel but uh <laughs> i'm not worried uh, the thing is, when you're protecting yourself spiritually, you'll notice other people get very angry. People will start throwing shade. People will start telling you what you're doing is evil. It's because the entities on them, the subconscious aspects of that person, has some form of energy that's presented against you that is going to take you down. Now, they might not know it, but the entity on them will sometimes. Uh they do know it and that sometimes people will actively do it sometimes people will passively slash subconsciously do it so when you start protecting yourself people will say oh and i've seen this very often and a good example is someone got a tourmaline necklace from me right and they put the tourmaline necklace on all the problems stop but they come around their family uh oh I, i'm not supposed to say it well they, they came around their family and people of dark i mean people of darkness that are disguised as light and they say take that off that's demonic that's evil so as soon as that person took the necklace off and put it out of sight away from where they can access it all the curses all the hexes everything started pouring in three months goes by they lost everything and they they messaged me they're just like what do i do i'm like and this happens to more than one person so this is if the person's watching this video it might not be you so the i say put the necklace back on curses hexes everything breaks uh the person starts getting lucky again they start seeing abundance but the people around them were like oh you, should, you, need, you need to take you take that off again do you see a trend life is about patterns life is about uh behaviors life is about seeing things that don't best serve you and seeing things that are blocking you and growing if you're not identifying things that are hurting you or people around you that are hurting you then you're going to make the same mistakes over and over and over again now, that's kind of karmic on its own, but you have to understand. Break these cycles. Break these people who you're around. Because if people are blocking you from getting spiritually protected, that person will take you straight to uh, to down there with them. It might not be hell, but it will be something else. It's the, uh, Let's call it the caves, which some people are aware of. Now, and yes, there's a whole pocket of the afterlife that people don't know exists. That's in the Bible, but it's in other translations. Sheol. So almost like the underworld before hell the spiritual realm is very interesting once you find out about it it's like oh this this exists what there's different levels to hell yeah 
So people will accidentally take you with them there, especially uh, if you're a person of God that won't, and you're really determined, that won't happen. But if you're just someone accident, accidental, not knowing where you're headed, uh, you'll be in a place away from God. No surprise, because spiritual law and physical law run alongside each other. So put yourself close to God in this life, in every life. Now, the people you do have to be aware of is people who get upset, people who get irritated, people who get mad. When you start protecting yourself spiritually, what's happening is, and I'm going to teach them, I've taught protections before and I'll teach them on this channel. Black tourmaline as a necklace from FloridaStormian.com is the best way to protect yourself spiritually. It's because you wear the tourmaline and what you're going through stops. It's that simple. It doesn't get simpler than that. Uh, I can't recommend tourmaline from other people's websites. You can take a piece of tourmaline that you have at home and stick it on your chest, but it's not helping you when you go out and about. So black tourmaline is the easiest way. It's like, it's that simple. It's that simple. You cleanse and charge it with sunlight. It's that simple. I've tested this before. I've tested it on several other people who have had stopped wearing tourmaline and they put it on again and things get better because that was the number one crystal. Sometimes people will mess with every other crystal. When I say mess, it's they're playing games with other crystals except for black tourmaline. So they'll, they'll go to obsidian, they'll go to onyx, they'll go to uh, seraphonite and not, not one of the crystals will help them like black tourmaline does. Not one. So until people realize like, oh, it's, it is a tourmaline. So I've seen people go to every other crystal but tourmaline. Tourmaline's the only one that does it like tourmaline does it. <laughs> when God made tourmaline as a crystal, he made it so that it protects. So you don't have to worry about the extra, extra stuff. Now, it protects from 5G. It has a, a, it spiritually preserves your age. For people who know what I mean by that. Disclaimer, this is a spiritual video. But when you wear black tourmaline, people will just, you'll see on their faces. People will look disgusted and shocked and horrified when you wear tourmaline. Some people just look, will look at you and they can't make the words to talk at you. Uh, so tourmaline will literally, and what is that? What, what happens when you protect yourself spiritually and you're put in spiritual protections? And it seems like, uh, people become different. People get awkward around you. People get very, uh, it seems like some, they're like this, or it looks like they're, they, it looks like they need help, which they actually do. They need to be put closer to God and closer to light and closer to everything that's good and everything that's right. But the thing is, these people are not innocent because they've done something to engage in some form of uh, darkness, maybe ego, maybe pride, maybe hubris, etc. Because there's a lot of things in this world. So, and there's a lot of impurities that people will be exposed to. So the best thing is to pur purify yourself, purify your vessel. And the easiest way to do that is by working with certain crystals that emphasize and release shadows. Obsidian's good, but tourmaline is the best one to protect. Black tourmaline will have you doing minor, 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 minor shadow work. So... Black tourmaline's good as a shadow work stone too, which is really cool. I should have put that in my other video, but it's not a very strong shadow work crystal. Well, not like obsidian. Now, like I said, what's happening to these people who get really offended when you're wearing tourmaline? Because I'm going to teach one spiritual protection. It's tourmaline. It's the strongest one. And I'm going to teach you how strong tourmaline is. Tourmaline is so strong that people want you... Like, it is, like, prohibited in the spiritual community. That's why I don't really... Uh, and maybe it's just passed down through belief. Maybe it's passed down. I don't know how it's passed down. It's not accurate, though. Oops. <laughs> I'm, you guys should see what I'm doing with my phone. I'm holding, uh, using kind of my uh, index finger in my thumb as like a, a very light tripod. So that's a very good tripod. I'm using all the gemstones, too. But, <laughs> but in the spiritual community, it's prohibited for people to wear black tourmaline. Like, so if you go to several different spiritual leaders, they'll tell you, it's it's a dark stone it's an evil stone it has bad history listen god made the crystal god's not going to create a crystal and be like okay this is the bad one i'm going to make this just so people can't use it no he made every crystal full of light and full of goodness but they're all different you have to learn how to use it the biggest problem with tourmaline is people don't cleanse and charge it accurately so what happens when you wear tourmaline and you're wearing the tourmaline so you're, you're seeing all these people switch up people get offended people get it's because it's working on them. It's pushing them away. So when that person's trying to... Like, maybe they're not actively trying to do something bad to you. It's literally... Like, it's... They can feel like a, like a spiritual presence, a force. And it's usually your angels using the tourmaline's energies to push them away. And they don't like it. They have a tough time talking around you. They have a tough time just 
anything around you. So I'm going to talk about the other spectrum of people. So people, and I, like I said, I, for people who don't have tourmaline right away, I teach them how to do other spiritual protections, such as the egg one that I taught and uh, the house one. <laughs> people know what I'm talking about. But it's very, very powerful for getting rid of people doing black magic. And I don't understand why people have sympathy on people who have their intentions to take families, like just claim families to black magic. It's like, you're gonna be nice to these people when these people are trying to take you out. That's why you're dealing with all these problems. It's because you're too soft against people who are cursing and hexing you. Wear black tourmaline as a necklace and stick it in the sunlight. Another thing you can do is take black tourmaline as a necklace and not as not just as a pendant, because this is your dig this is your gateway chakra. Entities sneak up behind you. They're not going to use their energy on you to just get exhausted. They're gonna go for the important parts. They go for your intuition, your throat, your communication, the back of your neck, your head because they take away your senses. So when entities attack, the little energy that they have, they'll focus at the back of your neck, your throat, sometimes your heart. They don't usually go for the heart like that because these chakras will contaminate your heart chakra if they're impure. But let me talk about the other spectrum of people who will get upset. Uh, dark people will get upset that you use spiritual protections or uh, in spiritual protections, black tourmaline is the most. I'm not gonna overcomplicate this video. It's black tourmaline. Like, because around this time of year, people are, uh, still chalking up their black magic, especially because of like what happened. I mean, in this this month in particular is a very heavy month of black magic. When you're wearing tourmaline, it doesn't come near you, but you'll notice people start malfunctioning towards early May, uh, mid April, who don't want you practicing spiritual protection. So fine. And here's another thing that will happen: certain people who pretend to be people of God, which I'm gonna tell you right now, people who are of God don't push you down. They don't say, oh, uh, you're going to hell because you use a crystal, because people will use that against you. That kind of person has not actually read the Bible, because there's several crystals in the Bible, and the Bible states that there's several crystals, several crystals in heaven. There's crystals in the Garden of Eden, there's crystals in the high priest, of, high priest of Israel's breastplate that help call down the power of angels to purify vessels, but the thing is, People will find excuses and they'll try to be a sheep in wolf's clothing. A sheep, a wolf in sheep's clothing. <laughs> and they'll try to get the tourmaline, the protection, anything you're doing spiritually off of you. Mainly they'll go for the tourmaline because it's too much for them. So people have literally, really, people with demonic attachments, dark entities have come in my TikTok lives and my, in my lives and say, take off the necklace, it's too much. It's too much for what? It's too much for you? It's too much for the entity that's on you? Versus people who are of good, of goodness, and people who do good, they'll be like, oh, the, the energy of the crystals just calm me. It's because for good people, it calms them. You will find that when you wear black tourmaline as a necklace, people who are good, people who are meant to be in your life, they start coming around. And you'll notice an entire change of crowd, an entire change of scenery. So let's, even at the gym, I noticed a long, long time ago when I didn't wear tourmaline to the gym is when, because there are people in the gym who never used to approach me until I took off black tourmaline once. And those people will have tried to talk to me. And then after that, then I'm just like, okay, this is not good. So when I put it back on, the people stayed away. They look at the, at the tourmaline necklace as if it's evil versus, and then good people start coming around again. So black tourmaline is a good crystal for, and this turned into a black tourmaline video because it's the strongest spiritual protection. Yeah, you, most of you are messing around. Most of you are playing games. You cleanse yourself, but you don't know how to cleanse your house, so nothing changes. You cleanse yourself, and maybe what you cleanse yourself of goes onto a family member because you didn't know how to do it. Herbs are very manual. They are very manual, and if you don't do herbs exactly correct, then you'll just make a mess. So people will cleanse themselves and not cleanse some house. Then the, instead of for them getting better, it'll go on a family member, it'll go in the house. Then let's just say the person cleanses their house, and they do it in the wrong order. So spiritual cleansings, you gotta do it correctly. If you're not doing it under the advice of an advisor, then guess what? You're just messing around. So people will do a cleansing. And like that's what I'm saying about tourmaline. You keep it in your house. It's literally beating against the energies of your entire house. For an example, I would like you to take a bell and ring it. As far as you can ring it, that sound frequency is hitting the walls. That's why you hear it bounce back to you. Same thing with the energies of tourmaline. Tourmaline's vicious against negative energy. Anything that does actually get into your aura, tourmaline removes. So I'm always going to be talking about tourmaline. And yeah, I'll have a tourmaline series. You'll always see me talking about tourmaline because when something's true, the, the facts don't change. 
I'm not telling you a different crystal is spiritually powerful. And I mean, I'm not talking, oh, this is the new, new most powerful crystal. Oh, this is the new most powerful crystal. No, it's tourmaline. Facts stay the same. My channel will be around forever and you'll always constantly see me talking about tourmaline. It's because it does exactly what it says it does. So pay, pay attention to people who get upset, bothered, angry when you're wearing spiritual protections. People will start calling it evil. People will start calling you, uh, oh, that's demonic. People who call other things demonic actually have a lower level demon on them feeding off of them. That lower level demon usually gets fear from other people that that person goes around spreading. If that person causes, and look, look to see what they call demonic and look to see what that person's actually doing. They're, any energy you bring up is the energy that's around you. If that, that person has something around them because they know it's an easy target to use. So people who call everything demonic are actually people with demons on them. Surprise, surprise. If people are, if you're calling everything angelic, oh, uh, the atmosphere is angelic. Oh, this, this, I'm feeling angelic today. I'm feeling wonderful today. I'm feeling, uh, the way I dress is angelic. Let's just say, oh, you look angelic today. Someone who's calling everyone angelic has angels about them. Someone calling everything demonic is demons about them. You have to put two and two together because that makes four forever. <laughs> but just keep your eye open because some, some people will, and then there's a sneak shade. People will be like, and they won't be able to say anything. So I talk about those kind of people as well. So those people are, it's usually bad thoughts in their head going to you, going straight back to them because the tourmaline sends it back to. <sighs> Take agrimony essential oil and put it on your tourmaline. It's a good way to cleanse and charge gemstones. I mean, no, it's not a good way to cleanse and charge gemstones. Selenite cleanses and charges tourmaline. Sunlight cleanses and charges tourmaline, but agrimony amplifies the send back effect. So it'll just cancel out your enemies. Get tourmaline from floridastoneman.com. It's the most powerful protection crystal ever. It doesn't, I mean, it's it's that simple it's that simple <laughs> i'm making this very simple for you guys keep in, keep your eyes open because people will some people will stop messaging you some people will stop coming around you uh some people will stop coming around you when you wear tourmaline i'm showing off the moonstone because it's changing colors up there but uh that's the thing pay attention to who that happens to because you can't always see people thinking bad thoughts sometimes it'll go and they're like how dare that person how dare they have a, a a brand new BMW, like, but they'll be like, hi. And then that person won't be able to talk when they come around because that's that person's energy working against them, being sent back to them with a the tourmaline. But if you have any questions, ask them in the comment section. Check out floridastormian.com. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.